hello, hello, hello. I don't know what this is. No, I don't. This week, uh, we're going to be looking at, like the title says, uh, Puffy and Flat Paws. Uh, and I want to discuss like the difference between how they look, uh, how practical each one is, and the big one is the price. Let's get into it. So, aesthetically, I mean, they both look pretty. The, this is flat, and this is the puffy. So the puffy like has like foam in the fingers, and obviously the flat doesn't. Yeah, you can see there's a massive difference there. And of course, like I think these look a lot better than these. I mean, these still these still look okay but these are these are the real deal they're just yeah they just look great i mean they, they both look great for different reasons but yeah the puffiness just makes them look I don't know the words like proper like proper fursuity obviously this is um fun fur and this is like your super expensive fur so yeah there's a difference there between the furs that you can sort of tell so this is like the cheapest fur you can get and yeah this is more expensive, it's a lot smoother. Uh, so there's some more puffy paws here. So I, I do flat paws in premium as well. So you can see they're flat and that they've got some foam in the fingers. Yeah. And the they both look great, they both look great, but I do, do prefer the puffy, I really do. They're just so cute and cuddly. So looks wise, I'd have to give it to the puffy. The, the flat, the flat still, I still like it. It's my main product, so very happy. Especially these ones with the gl glitter, glitter paw pads. Uh, that's Jade starting to moan, she wants a walk. So I'm going to go walk the dog and I'll be back. <laughs> I'm back. Um, you might hear like a duck sound. Jade's got her duck birdie toy. So I can't edit that out because I don't know how. Next up is um, how practical are both. I think this this is probably going to be quite obvious, but it, it might not be to some. So I thought let's let's put it to the test. So can I pick up a cup wearing these without struggling? So this cup's empty. So imagine if I had both of them on, I wouldn't be able to put that out of the way, would I? But I mean, I could pick it up. I don't know how secure the liquid would be. But yeah, I, I can I can pick it up. If it was a hot cup of tea, I'd be a bit nervous. Let's try it with both. And there'd be a possibility of... In wet because that, that claw there keeps going in. So, yeah, I can do that. Can I write in them? Can I pick up the pencil? Just... 
No, I'm struggling to pick that pencil up. Right, I've got it, I've got it. <laughs> I can't get the pencil to the paper. my handwriting no more so that was a struggle so i don't know picking up a cup of tea it's doable but risky writing it's a real struggle picking up the pen um let's try it with a flat pause there's a cup so yeah really easy I'd be quite, I, if that was full of hot water, peppermint tea, people like peppermint tea, I'd feel secure enough to like to drink that, you know, like I could hold it and drink it, but with the puffy ones, I'd be really nervous about doing that. Uh, writing, I can quite easily pick up the pencil and probably do fairly second one there that's uh very close to my normal writing um but yeah if you were at like a fur con or a comic con i think these would be more like practical at like opening doors opening bottles you know because you need to drink a lot of water um when you're at fursuits and fursuiting because you get really hot i can see a bottle oh. I'll just test that. So my glass water bottle. Yeah, I can open it no problem with the flat flat paws. And I could probably like open um, my bag. Uh, you know, do the zip and things. So there, these are like really practical that you could do mostly like everything, I suppose. Um, Obviously don't brush your teeth in them or anything, you don't want to get them dirty. Don't know how to get toothpaste out. But um, yeah, I think trying to open up the zip on your bag or even this water bottle with the puffy paws on, um, I think that would be a struggle. That's why people who are in full fursuit with puffy paws and think you'll find they have fursuit handlers so it's like someone that you trust that can kind of look after you uh, because you, your vision can be not so great in fursuit so I mean I'm managing to open that but this is quite a big lid uh, I don't do plastic bottles with small lids so but I'm thinking the smaller the lid, the harder it would be to open it with these on. But with the flats on, I think you could more or less do everything that you, you know, you'd need to. And you'd still look great. So I reckon for practicality, it's got to go to the flats. So that it's 1-1 one, one at the moment. Next up the price so this is a big one fursuiting is a very expensive um hobby way of life fandom whatever you know you want to call it it's it's pretty pretty expensive but that is why i made so very happy because I noticed that my daughter was missing out on the community um, so I designed the flat paws to make them cheaper basically and affordable because not everybody has thousands of pounds to you know to buy puffy paws or a full uh, fursuit so I'm gonna try and translate because I'm in the UK I sell these for £35, so I think that's probably maybe $40 plus 
plus postage and sometimes because mostly I sell them on Etsy, Etsy will add sales tax so that brings the price up a little bit but I, I'm trying to keep the price the same without putting the prices up because even though my first supplier keeps putting the price up of the fur I'm really trying my best to keep it um, affordable for everybody that can't afford the big ones and then these are my daughter's paws these can go for hundreds of dollars hundreds of pounds not everybody can afford that these are the type of thing that maybe you would save up for for a hell of a long time and maybe by the time you've saved up enough money you're not even interested in the fairy fandom anymore or you know other things have come up you um you know your washing machine breaks down um yeah so i think price wise it has to go to the flats because they're more affordable so these look great the the mm, you can do some stuff in them practical wise price wise they're really expensive so yeah all really they've got going for them is they look awesome and they're really cuddly these ones are really well made my daughter made these ones but i think and this isn't just because these are my main products i'm so very happy the flat paws have to get it because they look all right not as good as the puffy but they're really practical and the price they're a lot cheaper than these ones and i understand why there's a hell of a lot more work into these ones and they take much longer to to make a lot more skill there's a there's a lot more pieces that you have to sew together um even the foam they're more expensive to make but yeah the price is a lot so that's two to flat and one to puffy so kind of like flats win um but again if money isn't an issue you've got the choice haven't you um you can look great possibly drink water out of a, a bottle that's got a massive lid so you can open it yourself and then you've got the choice of the flats that you could do almost everything in and they, they're a lot cheaper and remember you can get flats in premium so they and also for a cheap option if you do want puffy you could buy some flats and put foam in the fingers yourself i've known people to do that i've had customers that have done that and you'll find that on the reviews that um some customers have even glued on um resin claws themselves and they look pretty cool i only do um material claws i don't do the resin i did try to do resin claws but um they sent me the wrong chemicals and it it just got messy and cost me loads of money and i just thought you know what i'm doing enough um there's loads of other good makers uh, out there doing resin claws and they know what they're doing and their suppliers send them the right chemicals <laughs> um so yeah i hope that was informative i'm a bit all over the place today because my dog won't settle for some reason and i've got severe toothache here i don't know what i've done but it really is um but yeah i really hope that was informative some sort uh at least now you know the difference between puffy and flat if you didn't before um yeah please subscribe if you really want to
that would be great. Like it and uh, tinkle that bell and press all, I think it is. And I'll see you next time. Cheers, guys. <laughs>